Hello, this is another video um, for the Algorithmic Trading School for CTrader and CALGO. In this video, we're going to show you um, Microsoft Visual Studio 2015. We're going to show you a briefly an overview of the platform, uh, the development environment, and how useful it is. We're going to show you how CALGO and, and Visual Studio integrate together. Uh, we're not going to show you debugging, it's just going to be pretty much a basic overview of Visual Studio. Uh, in the later videos, we're going to show you debugging and IntelliSense and some of the uh, features that you want to start using when you first start writing code using the development environment. Um, as we know, 2017 is around the corner at the moment I write, um, I'm recording this video. That'll be out in March. Um, 2013 is the only development environment that's supported by our Cialgo at the moment. So, um, but we, there is a workaround around it, and I'll show you how so you can use 2015. The reason that I recommend using 2015 now is it's been out a while, it, it's had some updates, it's quite stable. I would hold back on 2017 for a little bit because um, it still might be buggy, it's going to have some more updates. And they're pushing out these, these environments so fast, it's crazy. So one other thing is that um, the development environment, you'll probably only use a very small percentage of the power of the development environment. So you don't need the full bells and whistles. So you don't need to keep upgrading all the time. Um, but 2015, I think, is a good platform to start, start off on. So your first step is if you don't have it installed, is to install it. So you go to visualstudio.com forward slash downloads. Uh, it's a free version. It's called Visual Studio Community. It's fully featured, uh, free for students and open source and individual open source and individual developers. So like yourself, you're an individual developer, you can download it here uh, onto your PC and you can actually use it for the development environment. So down here you can see if you, if I minimize that, what will happen is it will come up with this uh, downloads down here for 2015. You just expand it and you download the community version, either a web installer or an ISO file, download the whole thing. Uh, once you've downloaded it, the next thing you need to do, because it won't work on Cialgo yet because it's not supported, uh, if you go to uh, clickalgo.com and you go to how to use Visual Studio 2015 with CTrader. This blog article shows you that you need to install this uh, VS extension. So you click on this button and it installs the V6 file onto your hard drive into your downloads directory. You then double click on it and it'll install the extension onto your Visual Studio 2015. And what will happen then is from Cialgo, so assuming we're in Cialgo here, I'm going to create a new bot which is done at the bottom. So the new bot we're going to call um, VS oops, VS 2015 test. We're going to build it, same as saving, and it, it creates a template for you, which is the template for your first algo. You then click on the drop down button there and it says edit in Visual Studio. It'll open up Visual Studio. <coughs> And then here's your project. It's exactly the same. The first thing you'll notice about the development environment is it's black. If you don't like it, you can go to tools, options, color theme, and you can change it to blue or light. You can download, if you Google it on the internet, you can download other color themes. There are others out there you can download. Um, so you'll notice your code window is here. Up here is your tool window. Um, some useful features here which is bookmarks, the same as a book. You can put bookmarks and step step along the bookmarks. Uh, and you've got debugging, I'll show you that another day, and other things like that. And you can add more toolbars and tool windows here if you go to toolbars. And there's a whole bunch of them there, depending on what type of development work you're doing, if it's iOS or Android development work. Okay, and then on the right-hand side, you've got your solution, which is your project files. So this is your class here. These are your references. Uh, it's referencing the Cialgo API. It's the API which is coming in that you can access. It's, these are where it says using here. Um, and this allows you to access through the platform to your broker and to get the data you need for account data, trade data, and to manipulate the charts and stuff like that, or for chime. So it installs by default some of the other uh, assemblies here for doing link XML and other various things. So you can, and uh, I'll show you later on how to add references to custom indicators and how they show up in here. This will be another another thing I'll show you. So this is just a very basic over overview of the platform. It shows you as default a very uh, basic screen. You might want to register for a Microsoft account um, so that you get updates. I think you have to do it anyway. I'm not sure. It's been so long. So there's there you go there. So one other thing, you can actually make changes to this 
here. So whatever you make changes to here, because it shares the same file location, which is in your robots directory. Uh, so whenever you create a robot in Visual Studio, in uh, Cialgo, it creates a robots directory under uh, Cialgo. And this is the same location that it's reading from here. So if I, if I change that to hello, just to show you, and I go back to your Cialgo, it changes it to hello and vice versa. If I change that Fred, and then I've got to save it, build it. Then I go back to the development environment. It says uh, changes have been made and save changes. Yes to all. And it adds in there. So it just shows you can move between the two. Um, again, the next video we're going to do is going to explain in more detail. We're going to actually build a robot. And we're going to show you debugging, IntelliSense, and all the rest of it. So I'll show you some of the you know the basic features of uh, Visual Studio to get started, really. So this is, again, as I said, this is just a basic overview of it. Um, the other thing I want to show you was... Um, oops, I'm going to show you... That's it, I think. I think I think that's all the only thing I want to show you on this. I don't think there's anything else you need to know um, to get you started on doing it, really. I mean, you can build the application here if you right click and go build. It's the same as saving it or building it in Siago. And down there, you can say building algo file. And you can just view output if you want to see what it's doing. And it tells you down there it's compiled it to C users, C users, click algo documents, sources, robots. And there's your algo file that it's built. So that's your actual algo file. And if I go back to see algo, it's actually been built already, you know. And then you can just add an instance and get going from there. Oops. Add instance. So um, that's all I'm going to show you on this. A very quick brief overview. And in the future videos, we're going to show you much more detail.